Today I'm going to talk about testosterone replacement therapy in depression. Although no men have been sent to our clinic for treatment of depression, a large number are clinically depressed. In menopause, depression and anxiety triple within months. And so we know that estrogen is a very strong hormone for the brain. And hormone replacement therapy in women gets rid of this clinical depression, or often antidepressants don't. When we started our men's clinic, we have found that we see several men with depression, although not one has been sent for that problem, but sent for low testosterone or other symptoms. Therefore, when we started our clinic, we had each man fill out the Beck Depression NX2, which is a 21 question scale rating depression in men. And surprisingly, in our clinic, we found that more than 50% of them were clinically depressed with moderate or severe depression. And this depression does not get better with antidepressants. And so many of the men have been on two or three antidepressants in the past, and about half of the ones that we see are on antidepressants at the present time. I want to show you the graph that we presented to an international meeting some 12 years ago uh, on hormone replacement therapy and depression. You can see in this graph of our first 50 men that depression rates are fairly high, and some of these men are suicidal. We treated these men with testosterone replacement therapy and optimized their doses, and what we found is a significant improvement in depressive scores. As a matter of fact, uh, as you can see here, some of the men with very severe depression came down to very normal mood. We see one man who was treated and had no improvement in his depression, and that's fine because that shows that some people do need antidepressants, but here are two men whose mood improved almost 50%, and then we'll look at this individual who went from suicidal to normal mood, and we see another man who was severe depression, and he gets a zero on the score when Santa Claus probably gets three. So we looked at this and realized that we had to talk about depression and testosterone replacement therapy. We've talked to psychiatrists about this, and they label this kind of depression, um, antidepressant resistant depression. So their world is antidepressants and everything revolves around that. Either the illness improves or it's resistant and it doesn't improve and then they go on two antidepressants or three or higher doses. And I think with a man like this one who shows such a significant improvement that we need to relabel this low hormone depression because it responds to hormones. And that's why it doesn't respond to antidepressants. Why does this happen? Well, we know that testosterone has several good influences on the brain. Uh, number one, it improves hydroxytryptamine levels and serotonin transport. Number two, it significantly increases blood flow to the brain. And we know from the work with women's hormones that blood flow to the brain uh, improves some 30%. Both estrogen in women and testosterone in men are vasodilators. They improve blood flow. And so this is one of the mechanisms for improvement. The other thing is that testosterone helps brain plasticity or healing, and testosterone is brain protective. So when people get a stroke or a degenerative disease, they get much better if they're on testosterone. So another reason for testosterone therapy in men, and I think in the long term we can use it to try to reduce serious chronic neurodegeneration or degeneration of aging. And I think we'll see that there's a reduction in things like Parkinson's disease, and a reduction in dementia.